What's going on? This is Aaron Beck for another installment around Firepower Threat Defense. Uh, and we're going to talk a little bit today about the management network and how to manage the device. So there's really three or four different paradigms we can look at here. Um, the first paradigm I'm going to look at is a situation where you have an enterprise network with a dedicated management network. Now, in that case, we're going to wire the management interface directly to the management network. And the idea is that that management network will have an outbound connection to the public internet through some other means. So if we look here at the drawing, we can see that the management interface is cabled to the management network. Its default gateway is pointing at the management network. And then it hits the uh, public internet through the management network default gateway. Um, that allows the device to reach out to the licensing server, to the update servers, uh, pull down the latest signatures and packs, uh, all the things that you need to do to keep a, a next-gen firewall up and running. So that's kind of the simplest scenario. Um, but many of us don't have that luxury of having a dedicated management network, or maybe it's a dedicated management network that we have, but it does not have internet access due to security reasons. So in that case, we can look at a different way to do this. We might have a management network uh, in our system, but again, we don't have access to the public internet through that management network due to security concerns. Now, in that case, there is a solution for that. And what we do is on the management interface, when we configure it, we set the default gateway Instead of pointing to a next hop IP address, we tell the default gateway to use the data interfaces. And so what that does is the FTD will wire up that management interface outbound internet access to use the outside interface or your internet facing interface of your FTD to reach out to the public internet. To again, for outbound access only. This does not include inbound access. So this is a way for the device to reach out to Cisco licensing, for the device to reach out and get the latest uh, threat intelligence updates, the latest uh, IPS signatures, et cetera, right? And so uh, that's, that's kind of a little trick that we can use. Now, we're also gonna need to be able to reach the rest of the management network. Well, that's, we're gonna need a static route for that. So what we're gonna do is we're going to configure the FTD to use the default gateway to be the data interfaces, and we actually use the word data interfaces. Uh, and then we can configure a static route for the management interface. It's one of the few things you can configure from the command line uh, on the Firepower Threat Defense Appliance. And so we can add a static route uh, to allow the management interface to speak to the rest of the management network. So now we've solved both use cases. We can talk to the management network and we can reach the public internet to download updates. So what if you don't have a management network? Well, there's a couple things you can still do here. Um, one of the things you can do is still use the data interfaces as your default gateway. Your management interface doesn't even need to be plugged into anything. You can actually leave it completely disconnected, uh, set your management uh, access through your inside interfaces uh, or through your outside interfaces even. Uh, but at the end of the day, you're going to set the default gateway to point to the public internet through the data interfaces. And you don't even need to plug that in. So that might be a great use case if you have a, a small branch office somewhere or a, somewhere where you don't have a management network or don't have a need for a management network. So that's one thing you can do is just completely leave it unplugged. Now, in that same scenario where you don't have a dedicated management network, the other thing you could do is plug that management interface, uh, give it an IP address on one of your inside networks, and do a crossover cable between the management interface and to one of those inside networks. Uh, not really necessary. You can access the management plane through one of the inside network IP addresses, uh, but you could do this. That'll do it for this quick installment. I hope you got something out of it and understand a little better about how the management network and your different options for connecting to the management network on the FTD works. We'll see you next time.